Ghana has reached agreement with the International Monetary Fund on terms for a second payment of $600 million out of its $3 billion credit deal. Ghana signed a deal with the IMF in December as the country sought to show off its public finances and better manage debt. Uh, we're front-loading um, such that, God willing, by November, we actually will then have released $1.2 billion of the $3 billion uh, effective in that. So um, truly um, a lot of work has gone into this to give Ghana um, the opportunity to stabilize uh, much faster. The country's economic situation will be a major election campaign theme as it heads to the ballot box next year with President Nana Akufuado stepping down from two terms. Growth dynamics is, is, is you know, better than what we were anticipating. I think this is really very good news. On the stability front, on the stability front, I would say this is this is the same. Uh, inflation is coming down. Um, res international reserves of the central bank are going up, which is also very important to bolster confidence. A major cocoa and gold producer, Ghana, also has oil and gas reserves, but its debt loan has expanded and, like other sub-Saharan African nations, struggled with the economic fallout from the COVID-19. 